talk about the reasons why perimenopausal women probably should be taking creatine because we know creatine can be very effective in premenopausal and even postmenopausal women. So we know that estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone decline as we enter midlife. So during perimenopause, we've got these fluctuations of the hormones, but they're steadily declining over time. Now that was primarily our stimulus for building muscle, muscle mass, strength, physical performance, but these hormones are declining, so we are losing that stimulus to maintain our muscle mass. And in fact, we lose about one and a half percent of lean mass during perimenopause each year. So that's quite significant over time. What we can do is take creatine monohydrate, and that provides the energy to build additional muscle to mitigate that muscle loss, and it helps build strength. So in turn, that's going to help build a healthier muscle tissue. So the actual composition of the muscle is going to be improved. So you don't have the fat that's infiltrating inside the muscle. You have more of a lean tissue sample and maybe a little bit of fat on the outside, but that's what creatine does. It helps mitigate that muscle loss that occurs as our hormones decline. 